Shit, I'm about to get ghosted. Looks like the new neighbors are moving in. I'm so excited. Oh my god! No, 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 no! No! Stop! Stop! I'm so sorry! Stop! I promise, 11 months out of the year, we're normal. I, they just are a little uncontrollable right now. You, Harrison, you're adorable. Please get the knife out of your eye for the hundredth time. Evan, get in the damn house now. You're done. You're an idiot. Kitana wins flawless victory. <laughs> Surprise! God damn! What the? What the fuck is these? We well, don't like them. Hell no, nah, I don't like these motherfuckers. Take these motherfuckers off. They can't come yeah. off, man. You got to do something about them. I got. These ain't the ones that I like. You said thick and dark. You made them. Thick, dog, too fucking fat. <laughs> Take these <laughs> motherfuckers off. My, I'm not. I can't wear these shits outside nowhere. Look how I look like a fool. No, you don't. I can clean the sides up just a Let little bit. Let me see. Just a little bit. Go take these motherfuckers. But they off. can't come off. Look, let me try. Let me show you. Stop here. Mom, what you gonna do? They not coming off. No, I'm gonna take them off some kind of Let way. me see if they do it. Let me get on the uh, website and look. Not coming off. I, where, where the fuck I could go at like this? Where could you go? You could go You could go everywhere. No, no. That's the style now. I'm not trying to be in motherfucking style, lady. Oh. I want them off. Man, they look good. Just cut, cut all the shit off. Take yeah. all of it off. And draw, I draw my own. You well, make me. I these, thought you like them big. These look like giraffe ass eyebrows. Wait, let me see. Well, I might be higher in giraffe nuts, but this chick definitely looking like a giraffe. Scariest costume so far. Who's the blue? is when I get off work and you don't want to take my underwear and throw them over your face like a Wakanda mask, welcome to Wakanda, and sniff on all these pheromones, you're not for me. What? If you don't want to have to stick a towel up on you when I'm giving you head, you're not for me. If you don't want to suck your out of my vagina, you're not for me. If you don't know how to take these two fingers, rub on the until it starts squirting out and you suck the squirt out. Damn. Not for me. If we can't be in a parking lot at night while it's raining fuck on top of the hood real hard, you not for me. If you don't know how to blow air in my pussy and stick your thumb in her in my booty, you not for me. If we can't be at the dinner table while your granny saying grace and I'm playing with your business, you not for me. You ain't nasty enough for me, baby. Bye. Oh shit, guys. We got a real freak-a-leak. 
Okay, I'd do about three quarters of that. A few of them had me caught off guard. I'm gonna spit up some coffee. On the back, with your face in the pillow, so you can yell it loud if you want to. Today is International Women's Day, so I made this horsefoot heels as a gift for us women. The design is very human. Wearing on the foot is also very beautiful, and after wearing them, we can run as fast as a horse. And when there is danger, we can kick away the bad guys like a horse. Very easy to use. Booty don't jiggle jiggle. It's flat. You want to see it wiggle wiggle. Too bad. Because, I'm. listen, I may be flat in the front and in the back, but my, my personality is thick. And, and my, my heart is even thicker. Right. For women, this is your, this is your matrix. You got your cute axis and you got your money axis, okay? <laughs> and uh, if you have, there's only three sections. Women have a very large no-go zone. <laughs> this is for dudes who are neither hot nor have a lot of money. Um, you'll notice over here, this is the husband section. Uh, once you cross a line and have sufficient amounts of money, it is no longer relevant how hot you are. And then women have a fun zone here where a dude is broke but hot. <laughs> That, that, is the, that is the cute versus rich matrix uh, for women's shoes. There you go. All right, guys, you heard it first. Now, he wasn't wrong in the last matrix video, so if you get your money up, you're going to defeat this matrix. Ready. Fight! The baby they show! Stop! You're supposed to make daycare this month! Excuses! You missed your son's birthday! Excuses! Oh, my God! <laughs> what am I to do? Yeah. <laughs> so Just listen. Never smelt a smelling salt. Y'all say to give it a try. Take a try. Okay. According to the World Health Organization, a human male born in the USA in 2015 has a life expectancy of 76.9 years, while a female's life expectancy is 81.6 years. Women tend to outlive men worldwide, and we're not really sure why. Oh, Half fact, way. You take a <laughs> I feel like if God wanted to make me mentally stable, he would have made me mentally stable. But he didn't. So lock your fucking door. What? What the f***, my bro? Yo! Hello! Yo! You talking you to me? What? You was cold. What the Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. What the f*** is wrong with you?
Y'all got no shame. Pull out for Christ's sake. Miss Rabbit has fainted. Miss Rabbit has fainted again. Yo, you got blue eyes, bro. Yo, look, look, come in. You got blue eyes. One blue that way, one blue that way, you heard? <laughs> This is why you shouldn't scare your wife. Let's kick it! Ice, ice, baby. Why women live longer? <laughs> At this moment, that he knew some body won't tell me. The Man, scaring your girl is so fun. Ain't nothing better. You guys got to keep it up no matter how bad it goes. <laughs> shanty, shanty. <laughs> it didn't work. It didn't work. Mama. Well, guys, happy Halloween. It's a good holiday, you know? Go downtown, you might bang a Marvel character, might even hit a Ninja Turtle. Anything could happen. All right, y'all, let's see what I got for you today. Hey, how many out here can uh, can tune that carburetor, though? That's the last of the Mohicans. I can tune any fucking carburetor you got. Quadrajet, chainsaw, whatever it is. All right, guys, today I wanted to take a second to talk about surviving the times. So some people in the comments say, like, you know, running businesses is hard, and it is. But I think getting up and, uh, you know, at six in the morning and working eight hours a day is hard as fuck, too. And eventually the business pans out. The other shit just goes on and on and on until the day you die. Right. Or at least till you retire if you can. So one of the harder parts of a business and why people say they don't survive for five years is because times change. And what worked in the beginning or what worked five years ago might not be working the same anymore. But because it worked so good in the past. And people aren't really good at reinventing the wheel. They just want to keep on doing that, hoping it's going to work until they go out of business. So I own this sandblasting business and we sandblast wood and we sell it to pet stores all over the nation. And typically I'd sell pallets and I like to sell pallets full of wood. They're worth like four to 8,000 bucks. But one problem with that is the stores are small and now their budget is smaller too because of the way the economy is. So I'm getting less sales or like, you know, I'm not losing customers, but they're less frequent because the flow of the wood isn't selling the same as it did, you know, four years ago. So what do I have to do? What I have to do is I have to listen to my customers and hear them. Their stores are a little too small to take a whole pallet. My distributors are acting a little bit finicky. It's difficult, difficult to get them to cooperate with, you know, supplying the entire East Coast. So I've called up the entire East Coast. And what I did was, Instead of trying to sell them an entire pallet, I'm just trying to sell them a box. And with shipping included, they can double their money. 
So I started crunching the numbers on that like two days ago and I have the entire formula. I got all their emails. So I'm gonna put them all inside a, you know, an email system where I can email one time and it sends it to all of them, mass emailer. And uh, I'm gonna offer them this box and the box out the door is 860 bucks. So it's affordable and it's enough to more than fill a shelf and they can buy several different types of wood. So at this point I've solved their problems in many ways. You know, if you're gonna survive the times, you gotta think outside the box. You gotta listen to the consumer. You gotta, you know, I can complain all day that the economy's trash and, you know, politicians messed it up and all this shit, and it's true. But I need to survive these times no matter what. So I need to pull back on my expenses. I need to do some more work by myself. I need to figure out how to generate more business in a slowing economy. And this is how I'm surviving the times personally. If you don't have that in you, then the chances of you failing in the first five years does become high, right? Um, you know, so when things change, you're going to have to innovate. You're going to have to figure it out. You're going to have to listen and, and really put down a game plan and change the game if you have to. Hell, and maybe the shit that we used to do, if the economy recovers, we'll do it again, you know, when, when everything's back to normal and people are buying like they used to. But in the meantime, I got to survive. I can't let this business tank and sl uh, sales have slowed. And now I have to do something I've never done before, which is sell on a smaller level and, and take a different approach. All right, y'all. I appreciate you listening in. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we're going to see you on the next one.